Well, salutations out there, little warriors. Uh, we are here sitting on the stage of the historic Carlisle Theater in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, where we actually just finished filming the Caesar Awards. Hopefully, hopefully you had a chance to, to check those out. We had a ton of fun uh, making them. Uh, I'm sorry uh, to all of you who watched my musical number, and sincere apologies to Stephen Sondheim. Uh, but joining me right now is Mark Festosa, who you would have seen in the Caesar Awards, who uh, was one of our presenters and was also one of our very esteemed panelists Thank of you. judges. Thank you. And uh, Mark is a longtime war gamer, has written uh, Fireball Forward, mm -hmm. which uh, we've played at the club and uh, have reviewed. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, but most importantly for our purposes here, when we're talking about making videos of historical wargaming, Mark, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm a TV producer for PBS. So you know a little bit about video production. I do, I do. And, um, you know, the interesting thing is I grew up in broadcast television, right? Yeah. But today, everything is moving towards what you guys are doing. Online. You mean making fools of ourselves? You're making fools? Absolutely. <laughs> it is, right? It's a totally different thing. Everyone wants uh, shorter stuff, immediate stuff. They want it when they want it, how they want it. And they're moving more towards digital only, yeah. right? So I'm, I, I am, as a TV producer with all this broadcast skill, I'm happy to be hanging out with you guys and doing this new format. Well, we're, we're certainly thrilled to have you here. And we'll get to talking about that new format in just a moment. But what was it like? being a judge with that experience, right. having to, to wade through all of the, the different nominees? Uh, all right, so I've judged a lot of broadcast stuff in my life, right? Emmy-level stuff. This was more fun, right? Because it was <laughs> Good. It Good. was gaming, right? So I was I Because was we didn't that. pay you. <laughs> right, we didn't. And what I saw was, um, war, not to call them out, but like war games, um, uh, uh, who, uh, who does Black Powder? What, what's that company? Oh, Warlord. Warlord. Right? Warlord and like Games Workshop and those people in England, right? They uh, did videos or helped fund videos that I saw that had some production value, right? They were shot well. They had lighting, which is a big deal, right? Lighting, good audio. And then in America, I didn't see any of that. I saw a lot of gamers who were passionate about what they did, wanted to get their stuff out there, they were kind of all over the place in terms of skill and storytelling, but there was a real passion in it. And uh, my hope is that we can help some of the American gamers just kind of up their game a little bit, right? Because mm -hmm. there's no one wargaming institution in America that has the budget to go out and fund videos or a whole channel. Sure, sure. And I mean, that's, that's kind of the story of Little Wars TV, too. I mean, we've talked about it a lot on the channel, for those of, uh, those of you who have been with us for a number of years. I mean, we're just a bunch of idiots from central Pennsylvania. None of us have the experience you do, but we were passionate about this hobby and we wanted to take it out there. And there's a lot of skills you need to learn. Uh, you know, and, and it's, it's not just the technological end of it, it's also how to build an engaging narrative. Right. Uh, you know, because I know for, for me, when I sit down, if I'm going to watch a Wargaming AAR, I don't want it to be an hour and a half long. Right. Right. And, and so, you know, something that I know we've been talking about with you over a little while now is this new format, which if right. you watch the Caesars, I alluded to it a little bit uh, in presenting the final award and then, and then closing, or after presenting the final award uh, and then closing up the show. Um, we we want to have a new award at next year's Caesars right. for a new format that we're still trying to come up with a name for it and all of that stuff. But you know what what are some of the things that you thought were important to include in this new format? So I thought there were two big things. One is uh, the iPhone, right? Because uh, gamers all have iPhones, and if you're passionate about doing it. If you can use your iPhone, you don't have to go invest in three cameras and microphones and everything else. Now you can, but that could be a barrier to some people who just want to, to create and show the world what they're doing. So first of all, being able to use your iPhone. I think or an Android like, device. Or an Android device. Yeah. Something that you can just film that has a microphone in it and does high definition video. Okay? The other thing is helping people understand how to put a simple story together that's compelling. Right? Because if we sit and we watch a two or play a two hour war game, yeah, we're into it. It's kind of exciting to us, but that does not translate to someone watching it. Right. It just does not. And so it's really about looking at the game and understanding the drama that's actually unfolding to you personally, 
but just um, boiling it down to those dramatic moments to your viewer. And I always think, just think of Star Wars, right? Episode one, they blow up the Death Star, right? The, the, the rise of the rebellion. And then the second one is the revenge of, the Empire comes back, and then the final is the big showdown. So most games, they kind of have that. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna, help, I think, help people see that, crystallize their game into it, so that when people watch your video, they just see the drama. They don't see the boring looking up charts and <laughs> the right. things we all kind of do argue over the color of a uniform. You know? Well, and it, and it is challenging. It Again, is, it is yeah. a skill that you, you have to develop, and you may not get it on the first try. Right. Uh, I know we didn't. Sometimes taking something that is two or three hours long, where you think there are so many important moments, if you sit back and really think about it, there weren't as many important big story moments as you thought. Right, right. And, you know, sometimes it just takes the time to keep whittling down, whittling down. I, I, I think it was Mark Twain, I could be wrong, who had the quote the one time, I, I would have written you a shorter letter, but I didn't have the time. Right. And, and there's a lot of truth right. in there's that. Truth as someone who that. writes for a living, I yes. can certainly say that there's a lot of truth in that. So this new format, you know, which we will present more to the, the viewers about soon, so that you can, you know, try your hand at it, sometime this year so that you can qualify for next year's uh, Caesar Awards, is gonna have just a handful of, of hard, fast rules, right. and then kind of allow you as the, the creator to right. explore how you want to work within those rules. And I'm, I'm really excited to see how that turns out. Yeah. yeah, I think just like you just said, maybe a short shot list, like always think of these five shots, right? Always get those, and always look for certain things happening in your game. And hopefully that gives you enough to start crafting a story. Well, thanks a lot for making the trip up here and joining us for filming the Caesars and sitting down with me to talk about our new upcoming right. format. I think people are going to find it exciting. And uh, we have lots of plans for this new format beyond just the Caesars and possibly featuring some of the best uh, examples on the channel here itself. So I look forward to telling you more about that in the future. Thanks again. Hey, my pleasure.